Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you on the Neato Robotics D7. This is one of the newer uh, robot vacs out there and I hadn't seen quite that many reviews on it so I thought I'd just kind of give my two cents from my experience with it uh, and let you know what I thought. Uh, I should mention too that I actually found a pretty good deal on it and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. So a couple big features with the D7 that are nice. Number one, it has uh, laser mapping which is uh, it scans and maps multiple rooms and it remembers everything so it will go in perfect lines up and down uh, so what that does is number one it cleans much more efficiency uh, efficiently and quicker um, takes about half the time to clean the same amount of area as just the random uh, robot vacuums uh, that's not to say that you need like if something's moved out of place it will still like go around it and remap it so you don't have to worry about that if something's laying there or something uh, it can figure that out but it actually works really good um, it's pretty smart it's it's on par if not better than even the more expensive Dyson um, ones and the uh, iRobot Vax which are you know well over a thousand dollars so for the money this is a pretty good deal uh, really that's that's kind of the whole thing to it is for the money this is one of the best vacs out there um, it works completely with your smartphone uh, it works with Apple's ecosystem it works with Amazon's Alexa and it works with Google Home you can also use it for the IF triple T app uh, with Android um, if you use that kind of system as well connects right through Wi-Fi and even supports 5 gigahertz connections Another thing that's really nice about this one and another and why it cleans so quickly on top of the mapping feature is that it has an 11 inch um, beater bar in it. Whereas like some most of the other robot vacs have about like a six and a half inch one. So it can do quite a bit more area. Um, that's almost double the amount of area. And remember, it's not in a random pattern. So you can do a very large room in a very short time. It will obviously automatically go and dock itself and charge itself when it needs to. But like just to give you an idea, like with my, I had an Ecovax D-Bot, um, which worked great, but it, it took, you know, two hours to clean like a normal size living room, whereas this one will do it in about 45 minutes. The battery on this one too is nice. It will do up to two hours on a cleaning cycle whereas most other units are about an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. But this will do a full two hours, so you can actually program this to do your whole entire house in one thing, and it will do it. Bedrooms, bathrooms, everything all in one. It'll map them, go do it. It can do, I would say, oh, you could probably do up to about a 15 to 1800 square foot house all in one cleaning cycle. Another nice thing about this thing, uh, if you want to get advanced with it, um, it will show a map of your house uh, after it's on its software, um, after it's mapped your entire house, and you can go right on the software and map out areas that you don't want it to go to, which is really awesome. Even the iRobot vacuums, you need to buy these little sensors, um, so it will like block off that area, which costs more money, and they're laying around your house. You know, you get these sensors on your walls, which look ugly. This is awesome that it can do it right in the software. It's a big selling feature for me. But anyway, I really like this thing a lot. It works great, uh, and I really recommend it if you're looking for a really solid auto-mapping RoboVac. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.